بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My talk will be on how to pass Pascal examination using memory tricks It's a very important talk I think examination is an essential part of your career as vascular surgeon You have to be professional in passing an exam You have to learn all the tricks to improve your memory and this need for you to learn certain techniques to enhance memory. I'll, I will summarize what I have learned over the last 40 years. Now a basic important rule I have to emphasize that whenever you study putting the information in the form of answer to a question will improve your memory curve. If you look into this study which was done by Redinger and Kabnick, he had done experimentation and he got two groups. The first group they study and then study in two phases. The second group study various phase and secondly get testing. Testing improve memory. He has measured the two groups after five minutes which showed Study, study a little bit better, but look after two days. The retaining of information is quite obvious better in the testing group. And look after one week, the forgotten curve is getting a lot better if you have test to your knowledge. This is an important fact for you to remember in your career. So, One of the very useful tools is to have a flash card. A flash card is a card where you put your information like anatomy of the upper limb, anatomy of the lower limb in the form of a card and you press on the card and know the answer. It will correct your answer and it will repeat if you got the answer wrong what is called a repetition rate. So flashcard is an important trick and the best flashcard is the one with a spaced repetition trick which means if you got the information wrong it will repeat it the next day or the day after but if you got the answer correct it can stay up to one week before it repeats itself. You need to repeat the vascular information in order to get it memorized and better to put it in the form of answer to a question. And the repetition rate vary according to the difficulty of the information. Sometimes I use repetition rate every 24 hours, sometimes I use it every month. And there is a protocol usually in the program which Now which program to use? I will describe to you two major program which is Anki Droid and Anki is a Japanese word for memorization. This is a program which is a free app which was developed around 15 years ago and it have a good vascular information. You can install it in your mobile called the Anki Droid. And this is a very big program with very useful vascular flashcards. Now, it is found in Google Apps, it's also found in iMac. You can install it in your desktop as on your Windows, so it's available. In Now, it is found in Google Apps, it's also found in iMac. You can install it in your desktop as on your Windows, so it's available in all platform. And this is a copy of uh, the vascular modules in Anki, just I got it from your mobile phone. So this is very useful technique to use this flashcard before the... Now the second one is Quizlet. Quizlet was developed by American online study uh, entrepreneur who was actually an engineer 
was started to collect the collection into a platform. Again, it started around uh, 15 years ago, and now it is again free and well-developed program. So, Quizlet is a very good program. You can install it on your mobile or desktop. And this is the vascular module. You can see the card in front of the card. What are the four parts in the aorta? If you press on it, you get the answer of the four parts of the aorta. And if you got the answer right, it will not be repeated for one week. If you got the answer wrong, it will repeat it the next day. It's a very nice way of improving memory. So we have two major programs, Quizlet and Anki. Now, these are the two big groups of application for flashcards because they have been there for 50 years and because they have a free platform, which is an open source, you get a lot of flashcard in these two groups. But I will also add to you another two uh, contender with more and very good information. But these are the two giants, Anki and the Quizlet. Two more apps, I will mention the Brainscape and Memorang. Both are application on the mobile and the desktop. You can search them by Google, and both of them have very good vascular modules. This is the Memorang, and these are the vascular modules, and you can see each, how many cards, flashcards in each one of them and it's a very big list and this is the brain escape and you can see the vascular module i have put some flashcards in them regarding vascular ultrasound again very useful tool before the exam this is a collection of all software for flashcards uh, it's just for your interest if you want to know all of them uh, how much is free and how much is paid, on which platform, how much of them are printable, and this is just for the record of the full information. Regarding platform, these are the platform if you like to use Windows, if you like to use Chrome, if you like to use iMac or Linux system as well, you can know which platform is useful. And as I told you, Anki is the uh, the commonest one worldwide. It's very useful uh, for vascular surgery. So my conclusion is that open a free account today if you haven't done so. Start to buy Anki and Quizlet as a routine. Start to get two hours a day answering flashcards in vascular surgery. And then after a week, add Brainscape and Memorang as an extra tool and I wish you the best of luck and wish you to pass the exam with the highest possible mark. And thank you very much, Dr. Muhammad Omar Farooq, Consultant Vascular Surgeon.